Hey, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are going to be jumping into the good grace mighty draconia. They are one of my favorite bands of all time. They're the band like recently, my, my insomnia has been going fucking crazy. And draconian are the, one of the very, very few bands I can listen to. Or things I can listen to that actually help me sleep. So, because I'm in that insomnia mood, I haven't really slept properly for weeks. And now, like, I sleep for like three or four hours a fucking day, mate, or something crazy. But, man, we're gonna sit back, enjoy breakdown, some draconian, man. It's kind of what I'm in the mood for. Like, I've been trying to do other bands today, and it's just not really working in my head. So, fuck it, mate. Let's just go into this, enjoy, and we're gonna do the Sethian. Let's go. I love the gold. The gold is so sick. Before we go into that wonderfully amazing course once again. Uh, Draconium, if you haven't guessed by now, are a gothic doom band. They are one of the pioneers. They, they have been around for a very long time. I've been listening to them since I was ooh, 15, 16. Since I first heard Arcane Rain Falman. It was a fairly new album when I really first actually listened to it. Like, I just like found it online like when I was like, a lot younger. And it just helped me get through so much shit. But uh, this is awesome. The video, like, you know, with her golden hands, it kind of reminds me of, um, is it King Minus? King Minus? You know, where, like, everything he touches turns to gold. Is it that type of shit, but in a completely different way? Like, maybe everything she touches is turning to gold. Is like, that's why gold is dripping down instead of blood. Maybe she's just made of that substance we don't quite know yet. We need to see where the video goes. Like, actually, the video is probably one of the most intriguing bits of this whole thing so far. Just because each shot itself is kind of like a perfect picture, if you know what I mean. Every shot that we see, you could tell somebody with a very creative mind like worked on the video because every shot, no matter where you'd pause, you'd get something amazing and an amazing shot of art in essence. And it's just so fucking awesome to see. And Storm, man, I think this is going to be very much about nature and the universe and everything else like that, just from what we've heard so far. Listen to the weeping. 
of the continent, the shifting, shifting of the elements, and a universe locked in glass by an abject patriarch of insolence. So listen to the weeping of the continent, the continent weeping as they move. The shifting, as a shift, every element shifting. The universe is locked in glass, locked in everything else, being able to locked in expansion, locked in everything it's doing. My knees won't bend, my hands won't fold. I've sworn to send upon your father. I am the Sethian. The Sethian, I have no idea what it is, just because I haven't really looked it up. I haven't looked up anything about the video. Obviously, this is my first reaction. Hopefully, the song really explains what it is a lot more as we go through it, but it might not do. They might need to listen to the whole album to really kind of get that gaze in there. And so, it's like a very nice kind of sentiment. No, my knees won't bend, my hands won't fold. I have sworn descent, like I've sworn descent upon the father on God or some kind of malevolent being across the universe, something along those lines. And yeah, it's just so fucking interesting. I did not fall from grace. I leapt to freedom. From the black eye present, from the deprivation to revelation. I am but a dweller on the threshold. On the threshold. I'm pretty sure we literally got to second chorus right here. I could I may have just completely forgotten where we were as I'm just getting so involved with the music and the video and everything else, but it's so interesting just to listen to it all. Like I did not fall from the grace itself, I leapt to freedom as in. I'm guessing this is very much about religion, as a lot of Draconians actually, this is very much about God and religion and lots of other things built into it. Especially um, albums like Arcane Rain Fell. If you listen to it lyrically, it's very much about that. You know, it's basically that a total Satan reference. Like, I did not fall from grace, I leapt to freedom, like, because Satan fell into hell, obviously. He's a fallen angel of, in essence, from the black eye in prison, from deprivation to revelation. So, it's definitely like a whole fucking biblical theme going through this. I am, but a I am but a dweller on the threshold. On the threshold, like, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure it's either Jesus, Satan, somewhere along there, someone who's fallen, somebody who's, like, not quite in grace anymore. In terms of in terms of a religious standpoint, but still, man, let's keep going. Simon is to me, like it sounds very much like a Simon. It's going to kick up in a second, I think. I could feel it. Like, I've listened to so much Draconian in my life, I could just feel where they were going with it. I was like, yeah, it's going to kick up. It has to. Like, there's no way for them to go slower or lower. Like, there's only one way to go. It's kind of what you get in a lot of the songs, man. Like, you think it's going to be, like, very slow, then they just go up, up again, just to kind of add that kind of, like, semblance between it all. Just to kind of make it all just flow. And it's just awesome. It's just great to listen to. We've already done this bit, so we'll go straight into the bridge, man. And don't you forget your god is a demon. Yes, yeah. In terms of if you just read anything in the Bible, man, there's so much shit in it that's 
insanity that is ridiculous that is crazy like if you believe it it's ridiculous because there's people like i believe the bible word for word for word to word there's even like phrases in the bible that if you like have fucking difficulties seeing that you don't deserve to go to heaven so like if you wear glasses or contacts or you need to have surgery in order to like change the way that you see things like does that that makes somebody like me who's disabled who has cerebral palsy who suffers like on a daily basis to really just be like well you're not going to be accepted in this place because of like not that i would ever believe in it but you know what i mean like it just makes somebody like me think the fuck are people really believing and are they really trusting their faith in something so idiotic at the end of the day but that is just my view i guess man i bleed in the lies you're preaching yeah definitely that's how i feel the coffin in my heart enclosed in the deepest dark yeah, as in that's how I feel like so much like I have to kind of enclose my emotions in a way that's kind of like very deep dark inside of my inside of me. And like we were all brought here by the blasphemy of God, the perisher of thought. Like he is like if you like go throughout all of the text, man, it's such a perisher of thought, it's like it wants you to lose your free will, the way you think, everything like that. And it's just wanting you just to kind of obey and acquiesce to something that doesn't quite make sense to do what they tell you to do rather than think for yourself and that's not really the best way to live your life now is it but still let us keep going let us go towards the end it's so it's so pretty i fucking adore draconian they are one of my favorite bands of all time if you haven't guessed by now they are very much very much and always have been very anti-religious as it's what a lot of the music is based around especially the earlier music that i've listened to a lot of but it seems they haven't really lost their way. They're kind of keeping with their same themes, which is fucking awesome. Either way, I'm talking way too much. Let's go. That's such a sick image. image though you know the image of a bleeding like and like the blood on the apple that's fucking eve and it has to be like you know eve buying the apple that damns all of humanity like literally <laughs> That was awesome, man. 
I can't have to be in the right mood to listen to Draconis what it's been about 11 months since I last featured them on the channel. Mostly because I've been taking a few breaks here and there and because like unless I'm in that mood for them, unless I can really sit there and listen to what they have to say, then I can't really then I can listen to them, but I don't appreciate it as much as I should. Like if I'm not in that right kind of mental mindset to really go about it. And I don't really see the point of really reacting to them and analysing them because I'm not going to, to feel it and it's not really going to be the best version of what I could do with it if you know what I mean like it's only when I'm in the right mindset that me doing Draconian is like a perfect way for me to make content because I do, I listen to music I do music based on how I'm feeling and how I'm feeling on the day how I appreciate things how things change how things are it's just one of those things that you have to kind of feel like if you you were listening to music purely in a way where you don't feel it where you're doing it for views where you're doing it for content you're doing it because a fuck ton of people like it then what the fuck is the point because music is a special thing to so many of us to so many fucking people out there that you're kind of disrespecting it if you don't give it your proper attention and you don't analyze it and enjoy it at least that's how i've always seen it. it's why i've been trying my hardest to try to get my content up to a level where i I'm happy with it, as I've not been happy with a lot of shit that I've done over the time that I've been doing it. So I'm just trying my best to improve it and improve it and improve it and get to where I need to get to, try to get to where I can speak quite clearly, rather than fucking rush what I'm trying to say. And that type of shit. And Draconian is one of those bands that helps me get through life, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, the, you know, we all have those one or two groups or musics or bands or whatever you want to call them that just get us through life. Draconian happens to be one of mine, that's all. So let us go towards the very end of this. We've already done that. Um, and you forget your God is a demon. I believe in the lies you are preaching. So yeah, we've already done that bit too, but it's just such a great line, such a great sentence. It's just really great lyricism at the end of the day. The world is dreaming. Your God is a demon and mine is a mountain. As in the world is dreaming, like the world is not seeing the world how it truly is to see the suffering, the death, the destruction, the war, everything else breaking out. The god that you believe in is a demon. Basically, 90% of all gods have been demonic. The only really true religion that's ever been honest about how fucked up their gods are or is like the ancient Greek gods where they have fucking so many different things based on it. Like it's the only real like definition of why I can accept Greek gods because like they have flaws, you know what I mean? Like, if there's a god that doesn't have flaws, then is that really anything really you can really trust in? Because if something is meant to be absolute, then it's no nothing that you can ever really understand and really believe in because they will never understand you, if you know what I mean. Because we have flaws, we're human after all. Um, and mine is a mountain of souls screaming. Yeah, because that's how the world is. There's so many millions of souls screaming for help out there. We don't see it. Because it's not really advertised. We don't go to the right part of the board to really see it. And um, uh, uh, unfortunately we don't really see it. And the world is just a fucked up place unfortunately. Draconian just bring a bit of light to that. Bring a bit of their musicality and, te and technical amazingness. And just blending it all together with amazing images. Just to kind of make you pay attention and be like fuck. This is such a beautiful song. This is such amazingness. And... If you've never heard Draconian, I would definitely recommend starting with the Arcane Rain Felt album. That's where I started. It's one of the best for me, personally. Like, all Draconian is good. Like, I'm not saying any one is better than the other. It's just, you know, like, just start wherever the fuck you want to and whatever sounds the most appealing to you at the time. It's going to touch you in a way, at least with me. Like, it's touched me in so many fucking ways. It's ridiculous, man. And I'm just talking and talking for no fucking reason at this point. Kind of venting a little bit, I guess, man. Either way. I hope you guys enjoyed one. Have a wonderful day, evening or night. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then, take it easy.